I'm here to teach you how to put on a funky flamingo wrap. We're going to do both of the hug holds inward facing and outwards facing. So first you want to find the middle of it because that's going to be the part that goes around your belly. Easy part with this, look for the tag. The funky flamingo tag is going to be it. So go ahead and find that middle, tag out, it's going to go right across your belly. You can do a little bit lower for hips if you need to. So then, once you get that in the center, you're going to crisscross it over your back and put it up over the opposite shoulders. You're going to go one. It's not too important on this side if you have it completely spread open, that's completely up to you. So crisscross over the opposite shoulders. All right, now we're going to do the same thing on this side. And if you'll see, it kind of goes up a little bit. Tightness does matter. Um, have it really tight against you. If you want a tighter fit, realize you might not be able to get your baby in though. So we're going to crisscross again, right in the front. And I would suggest kind of spreading this out now while you're doing it, because you will want them spread out a little bit. So we're crisscross. All right. Now we got our basic thing. We're going to crisscross it again to the back, kind of below. And then at this part, you can tie it either right in front of the waist, side of the hip, wherever you want to on this. And then just do a little square knot. No biggie. All right, get my, my subject. Hey, <laughs> baby girl. This is Jill. All right, so we'll do inwards first. So you can see I have my two crisscrosses. I'm gonna want to stick her body obviously underneath this, and I'm going to focus on the inside crisscross first, getting her body in there. Yeah, you see death. Oh. So we're going to get that leg in. Now we're going to put it all the way across her butt, put that arm in, sweetie pie, and up over her shoulder. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the other crisscross right over here. Get that leg in. There we go. So once again, you can have the arms in here so the arms can go out the side. Across the butt. There's that side. This is why sling it's easier. Across the butt and over the shoulder. Now, a really big thing with baby carrying is you wanna make sure that their knees are at their hip level or above. So what you can do is where you bring this over bring it all the way over to the kind of knee socket and it will help lift up the legs automatically. So we've got that. We have one more step. Ooh, we're gonna take that belly piece, not the one you tied, but the original one. And we're gonna get those under the legs. And you keep the bottom part up. There we go, there's the tag. And you're gonna put it up. Make sure it stays under the bottom. And there you go. So this is the inside fold. She loves it. She gets all snuggly. And now we're gonna see if she'll let us do the front facing. All right, come here, baby girl. I know you like to suck on it. And actually, to get them out, just kind of do that, and then I just lift it up. Yeah, just like that. Hi. <laughs> All right, so front facing, you're gonna have the same exact wrap. So you can just leave it. I do find it's easier to have it a little tighter, but not a big deal. So same thing, the inside crisscross that you've done, go ahead and stick it in. And you're gonna try and put it as much over as you can on her body. <laughs> yeah, here you go, baby girl. Here you go, you can still do it. You want to actually, you want to make sure her arm is underneath that because if you don't, she'll throw her entire body forward and that's not good. So we do one. I'm going to get that other one in there. There you go, baby girl. There you go. So kind of crisscross it over her. Close to her neck, obviously not enough to choke her. And then once again, we're going to take this bottom one. Make sure it's not. There we go. Get those legs under. Baby girl. How are you doing this? There we go. One. And two. And there we go. If you have an itty bitties, 
you can keep legs in for all of these, both forward and back. There you go. Just kind of keep them in and it'll keep it up more. But this, just get it to spread as much as you need to go. And you should be good. And that is how you do the hook holds.